Hi guys, welcome back to Ask NK. I'm going to give you guys a really quick update concerning Unreal Engine as they have released a new version, which is not completely a new version, it's more like a preview version. So this version is a preview version to the next update which is going to come or the next release which is coming. And this is the Unreal Engine 4.2. Too. and it's available now so if you want to get your hands to on, on it if you want to you know try it and use it for what it is then you can go ahead and download the unreal launcher or the epic games launcher and from there you are going to be able to just simply click and you know uh, install the new version I'm going to show you how you can do that and some of the changes or some of the new features that is coming with this one is it supports real-time ray tracing this is something that we've seen they have uh, sort of given us a sneak peek about this sometime last year and the preview is now available for anyone that wants to use so this preview is the first preview that is coming out so if you want to use this app and maybe you want to test this stuff for, for yourself you can go ahead and test them there is also an editor utility widget which is coming there is also support for the oculus quest and also the blueprint index optimization is there and you can see that these guys have tried as much as possible to you know give us some some stuff that are worth it and i guess if you're making use of blueprint you would really really love the fact that this new update is coming to blueprint and for the guys that use this on real to do their rendering when they're done with the animation in let's say maya or blender or whatever 3d app they make use of you also be happy about the fact that the real-time uh, tracing stuff is coming over to unreal contrary to the previous form which was also amazing when it comes to rendering you can see that these guys they keep pushing the envelope to make sure that uh, they stay ahead of the game and once you have your epic launcher you know set up and running how you can install this update is pretty simple you can come over to the library section which you have here once you click on it here you're going to see the version of the engine that is available that you can install and if let's say you don't want to install this preview you can see it here it says preview one so if you click here you can start installing or or you can set it to the current one if you want to use this to start making your project or you can simply remove it if you want to install the previous version you can click here and then you can install the most recent uh, stable version that is available I'm going to put a link in the description which will take you over to the blog where these things are and from the guys here at Unreal the advice here is you shouldn't yet port your final or your main projects or your or your original projects you don't update your original projects yet so you can use this as a beta just test this and this is uh, released just in case there is bugs or feedbacks and you know stuff that they want people to uh, complain about if they are not working then you can simply report this stuff and they're going to do their best to make it better i think i prefer and i love the fact that you know all of this open source uh uh engines and open source software is that they try as much as possible you know to give us something to hold on to before they just throw out the entire thing contrary to commercial apps where they just simply build the stuff which they want without you testing it without you knowing what you're going to get into and they just throw it right on in, in your hands i know there are rooms for beta testers when it comes to most of this commercial apps but most times i think it makes more sense when it is more open to the public than to a restricted few i would like to know what you guys think about this do you make use of unreal engine do you want me to make a video comparing unreal engine versus unity are you working in unity what's your take with the entire stuff do you prefer open source to purchase apps or maybe commercial apps tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below and until i see you guys next time with a rant review update or maybe something like this Peace.